Well, hello everybody. Uh, an update here. And a layout update. Uh, before I get to what's in front of me here, um, I'll give you an update what's going on uh, with me. Um, I've been home since Friday afternoon. Um, everything's going good. Uh, rejection was caught early. Um, labs are getting better. White cells are going up. Um, so back on a little bit more aggressive uh, anti-rejection meds like I'm supposed to be. Uh, feel great, um, doctor tomorrow, and now it goes well. I'll probably go back to work Thursday. So, um, doing good um, on that part of it. So, what else am I gonna do? While I'm home for a couple days before I go back to work. Uh, pick up on the project that I started before I got sick. Um, so, what I got here is Merchants Row One, a Walter's kit. Um, I got this at Rail Days a couple weeks ago. Only got it for 25 bucks, um, which is not a bad deal because on eBay, Amazon, with shipping, you're usually getting these around 35 to 42 dollars, somewhere around there. Um, so that that wasn't bad. No shipping, just 25 bucks. Um, the only thing is, I think it's been in a box for a while because uh, this side here, you can see it doesn't sit down very good. It's warped a little bit from being in the box, and it makes this door just hard to really match up good um, but other than that it looks good I'm trying to get more light here because I'm in my office room and it's a dark rainy day here in the Midwest um, so what I do with these kits there we go get a little bit closer there we can get a better look um, I uh, weather them up of course um, and then these signs I make off of Google. Let's see if I can get back here so to get better focus. There we go. Um, I just look for old signs that fit my time era, and I uh, I Google them and shrink them down to in scale size. Um, when I was looking at, and here's the side. This is the post office, of course. Um, I didn't cut this very good. <laughs> I tried my best. These all turned out great. No parking sign, postal vehicle, uh, the postage rates here for 1968, which is in the years I'm modeling. Uh, Mr. Zippy, I think his name was. Uh, and this was around that same time. The postal stamp seal. Um, so that would be on that side of that building. Um, of course, the back I weathered up. I get a little bit dirty with the back because this is going to be along the alleyway up along my hill. Um, this is going to fill out a nice blank area in my town. Um, it's That's going to look nice. And I'll have an upcoming video of this on the layout where I want to put it. Um, when I was thinking about what I was going to make these buildings, because with this kit you can make them pretty much anything with signs and decals you want to. That's the great thing about this, and it just fits your town nicely. Um, I thought, I looked at my other buildings, and uh, maybe in a future video, when I get them kind of situated where I want, um, I'll go through and show you some of the details on them, as I did them the same way as this. Um, I thought, what do I don't have in my town? And that's municipal buildings. Don't have a post office. Don't have a city hall. Don't have a bank. This is important. My poor people probably don't have any money because they don't have a bank. And a uh, lawyer's office and then a doctor's office. Um, so that's what I went for in here, and you can see. Now you can also see the interiors that I put in there. All my uh, buildings, DPM and my Walters buildings, I look for specific interiors, and I shrink them down, put it on cardstock, cut it and fit it in the windows, um, because I plan on lighting up my city eventually using the Woodland Scenics plug-and-play system. Um, and I've seen it worked and used like this. People have done this. I've seen a few people... Uh, I think Modeler Mike or Mike's Trains has a whole thing where he does his buildings very similar. And when they light up, they look they look pretty nice. Uh, the interiors look really good. Um, you can kind of see them. I don't get too close. Um, when it's lit up, it looks looks really good. Um, I you know of course lightly weathered it. Um, these little signs I made out of the leftover gutter. Um, of course in Google. And let me see if I can get that up here where. You can see there's an attorney. Of course, that's a doctor's office. And some of my other buildings are like that as well. I made little signs like that. It uh, just gives it the little extra, you know, added detail. 
So that's going to look nice. Um, this up here, this side here, I'm going to have a parking lot next to it and get some mini metal um, postal trucks to kind of park up against there. And then, of course, I want to get some um, light posts, some Woodland Scenics light posts. But I also want to get... Um, find uh, some old mailboxes to put out front here and along my city as well uh, especially maybe along this side here where people might go to you know when they're closed or whatever to drop their mail off the old green style which would fit this era um, as well so um, that's what I've been up to this is weathered this is ready to go on the layout so hopefully this weekend um, I can do that and we can I can show a video of what I'm going to do and maybe paint the alley in the back. I still have to get some details for that. But uh, happy how it turned out. I mean, this is the way I do all my buildings and I, I think they turn out very nicely. Um, so that's kind of what I've been working on and what I started to work on before um, I wound up in the hospital. So I'm glad it's finished. Um, here's another little detail on this side here. No parking doctor's office. Um, I might think about another advertisement right here, like Coca-Cola or something, or, I don't know, Epsom or something medical, maybe. Um, I haven't decided, but this will be basically where the intersection comes down here of old 66 will be right here um, when I get it on the layout. So and there's a better look at the two signs I made on the side. So um, I just think those are nice little added details to it. Um but it turned out very nicely, very happy with it. So, um, while I was in the hospital, I got to thinking about some things, um, about the future layout I want to do. Um, and I'm going to have a video on that later. Um, on a Facebook page that I'm on, the GMO Historical Society has a nice, uh, John Kohlberg, who, who does uh, a lot of with them, and uh, ICG, he's got a nice new book out, ICG, Full System and Color. Um, it's a great book. Um, I can't remember who the publisher is, but if you look it up, it's by John P. Kohlberg. He, ha he has some great uh, pictures throughout the history of the GMO, the IC, and the ICG. Um, a great, great historian and photographer. He put out an hour video of the GMO's, uh, it's called Murphy's Borough District, which runs from K, spelled like Cairo, pronounced Cairo in these areas. Um, all the way to Venice or East St. Louis. Um, it covers about 150 miles uh, through the state, through southern Illinois. Um, I'm flirting with that being my next layout. Um, the, the only thing is getting GMO engines is very hard. When they do come up and in scale, they're very hard, less alone. You know, HO scale you can find them, but in scale is very hard, uh, especially SD40s. Uh, the GP30s, when they're out there, they're gone. If you find them, better grab them. Um, bottom line is going to have to be custom painted if I'm going to do this. Um, and and that's, you know, takes some time to do. So I, this is a couple of years down the road that I'm planning on doing this. If we move to a bigger place, if we don't move, uh, may redo this a little bit and do something different. Um, that's really what I'm leaning towards, but it's just the... You know, I, I can't run my Santa Fe engines in this because it'll be more prototypical. Um, so my rolling stock, my buildings, everything, all, all my stuff, the way it's built on foam, I can cut out, reuse. Um, everything's, but probably my curve sections will be reused. This will be a little bit different of a layout for sure. Um, I would start in Cairo with the Ohio River Bridge, which will be a big undertaking. I, you know, and you guys know from my layout that I do water scenes, and I like doing water scenes, and I think they turn out good. But the Ohio River is, bridge is going to be huge going into Cairo where the district starts, or I could skip, but I just think it's going to be a big detail right off the bat into your layout uh, coming off a staging yard or something that would look great. Um, and then it will go to Tams, Illinois, and that'll be a, there'll be, well, there'll be a little bit of a, a siding or two outside of Cairo called Davis Junction. Um, I'll have that on there. And then I would go to Tams, Illinois, which would be the classification yard. And then from Tams, I would have Murfreesboro, which has a small classification yard and has a, a very cool depot, which housed the Murfreesboro district 
in the offices, and it, that would be a scratch build, and um, I, that's going to be a challenge. A lot of the buildings on this layout would be scratch build because they would just that'd be how close to prototypical you have to do it. You have to scratch build them. Um, so for Murfreesboro, I would go to a couple little towns and um, probably go up to Percy. And at Percy, Illinois, um, I would have the grain elevator, which I'm going to get a, the bigger Walters kit, like the ADM style, because that's kind of what it is. Um, and then I have the leads for Streamline Mine and Captain's Mine. Um, I don't think I would do Streamline, even though Streamline Mine and Captain's Mine were connected in Percy. Um, I would go up off the, off the Y to um, Captain Mine. Uh, Walter's kit will uh, kit bash a couple of those. Will do it. Um, I have some of the Comet coal cars. Um, they need a little repair because I dropped the case that they were in. Shame on me. But um, that would be a challenge. And finding the Marion Crane, which is one of the largest strip mining cranes. This thing is huge, but it's just such a big part of this district so is the mine in percy captain's mine big um that would be it the main line um you have another line uh, mine um, which i can't remember the name of in um, Leahy, illinois but i would just have the y going off kind of to the backdrop to that because it's kind of off the distance a little bit um and then from there from percy i would go and end up in sparta illinois um with, of course, the depot, the interchange there at the uh, Missouri Pacific. Um, and that's really the only railroad on this district uh, I see um, in there. And at Sparta, I would I would scratch build what they call the comic book plant or Spartan printing, um, which is still there on Google. You can see the building's still there. That would be a scratch build and a huge scratch build. And that would probably be where it would end. And I think that's going to cover about 100 miles um, with some open space, give or take, you know, how you want to make it look. But um, also, I'm sorry, I forgot that there's two other water scenes in there. There's uh, Big Muddy River before Murfreesboro, heading north. And um, there's also the Kaskaskia River Bridge, which is a nice river bridge to put in there somewhere, too. Um, so that's what I'm leaning towards. If I don't do that, I would probably go... 80s where I can have my Santa Fe engines and um you know I can run them. I, I I'm leaning towards towards a freelance one where I can go 80s and a lot of my GMO stuff would still work. I would probably get some ICG uh you know but to make it work. Um because a lot of my GMO engines I have were post merger survivors that made it all the way up to the Death Star IC and got painted. So you know, I'd have to roach them up a little bit, make them look weathered, but that's the way the ICG was. And then I could still run Santa Fe, or I could put even leaning towards thinking, getting some Conrail stuff, and leaning towards that a little bit too. Um, you know, something freelance, it, it just fits that certain time period. It's kind of open, and you could run your whatever you want to run. Um, and I'll go over that in a future video about things from this layout that I'm going to take to the next one someday. But uh, that's just where I'm going. If you got thoughts on it, let me know. I'm just thinking about that. And then every time I watch that video, it's an hour video and it's about the whole district from Cairo to St. Louis, to Venice, East St. Louis. Um, it's an hour long video and it has so much in it. Um, it's just a fantastic video. Every time I watch it, I'm thinking, man, I want to do this district for number one, because the scenery on it would be amazing, especially a little town in there called Alto Pass had a 2% grade up into this big rock cut uh, that used to be a tunnel, but when it was the Mobile in Ohio, but GM&O didn't want the tunnel. They they blew out the tunnel, and this was a giant rock cut, which is now, I think, a state trail. Um, it's still there. Um, but that's what I'm leaning towards. That's what I was thinking about and watching. You know, I keep watching this video, and I love it. Um, it but, you know, it's it's one hand, and one you got this, and the other hand you got this one, and it's just what I want to invest in, you know, and what I want to do. I just, I haven't decided. But for now, I still got this layout, and I got a lot of stuff to do on this layout, and I want to enjoy this layout for a little bit. Um, but I'm sure in a year, two years, I'm going to get the itch to 
to to rebuild and from lessons learned from this one and I'll go like I said I'll go over that in a future video so that's what I got for now um, hopefully post another video Sunday maybe Monday evening um, with this building where it's supposed to go and uh, show you a little bit of that maybe do a little work down there I have to wear a mask when I go down there because it's in the basement and gotta watch what I do I keep kind of hostage in my house for a little bit but that's what I've been doing so uh, everything's going good and I'm ready to get back, uh, get a little motivated to get back on the layout, um, start saving up, of course, going back to work too, start saving up for the fall show uh, in September in Decatur, Illinois, which is a good show. Um, there's vendors there. There's a lot of deals there. Um, and in between, maybe maybe pick up another Santa Fe engine. <laughs> but uh, And a caboose would be nice. Um because really, out of the two railroads, those are the two railroads I, I really, you know, what I'm doing now is GM&O. And then well, I can pull off GM&O right now because this is a freelance and I can run my Santa Fe stuff, um, which you've seen in my video. Um, so I got a couple decoders to get for my SD40s. I'm looking at a couple of Santa Fe SD40s on eBay right now uh, going for good prices. So we might wait and see what happens there. But uh, if I get one, I'll, I'll definitely put it in a video for everyone. Um, but that's it for now. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, thanks for, uh, commenting on my last video. I appreciate that. And, uh, I'll catch you guys later and, uh, we'll take another look at my building here. Um, so next video, you'll see it on the layout. So, uh, see you guys then. Thanks.